street furniture and products for the public realm. So today I'm going to talk about how developing street furniture in a coordinated way can actually help to enhance a city's identity and its sense of place. So the presentation is split into three sections. So I want to talk a little bit about how we approach design for a city. And then I will give some detail about a specific project in London. And then just a little bit about my last few days in Almaty. I, this is my first time. So our approach. Cities are different. That may be architecturally, climatically and culturally. People do different things in different cities. And so you have to think about what happens in that city and understand that the solutions for that city may be very different. So this is a city called Brighton in England and it's a coastal town and so lots of people go to the beach. So the signs we designed here, not, not only do the colours reflect the local area, but we made the maps really long so people could see the whole beach. And this is Glasgow, that's at the other end of Britain, in the north. And the streets are much wider and the buildings much taller. So when we designed the sign, we made sure that they were big enough to sit in the space, otherwise they felt wrong. It's also a very hilly city. We played with the design so that it looked right when it was sitting on a hill. You have to think about the local place, the local environment. This is Vancouver in Canada, and here we were looking at creating products that worked across the whole transit system. When we started, there were no signs outside of the metro. If you build these things, you need to tell people that they're there, they can find them. But the project was about trying to coordinate information and products for all of the transit system. And the reason for this is functional, is that people who use it, if they believe the information comes from the same place, then they're more likely to trust that it works together. Now I'll talk a little bit about London. Legible London is a pedestrian wayfinding for walking, a system for the whole of London. It's for central London and greater London, but it's both for visitors, tourists, and for the residents. It was also developed by a very big team. I'm the product designer, but there were lots of other people involved in this. We think the benefits of making a single system, a coordinated system, are many. The benefits are mainly for the user, but there are benefits for the people who provide the signs, but there are also benefits for the city as a whole. When we started in London, we counted 32 different sign systems just in the central area. And these were all provided by different um, authorities and they were completely uncoordinated. Nobody was thinking about the user and how confusing this was for them. When we start a project, we're always looking at what the user needs. And as others have spoken about today, it's about the people of the city and understanding what they need. And so when, when we have an idea, we keep testing it. Every week for six weeks, we took a new sign out to test. And what we found was, is once we understood what worked best, one of the most important things was to make it consistent. And once the different authorities understood this, they were more willing to do something together. It was based on research and evidence. And then they could understand there were benefits for them because it was cheaper to both design and maintain one system. This also benefits the bigger city as well. because people see city as a whole. And how you get around a city 
how you move about, how easy it is to do that, how easy it is to do business, that affects how people feel about a city. And if you can get that right, it starts to become part of the identity of a city. And we talk about it becoming to have a sense of place. It means something to that city specifically. And we think this is about the identity of the city, but we, we fundamentally feel it's about making cities work. So, what have we delivered in London? There are about 1,300 of the core sign components, and most of those were there for the Olympics in 2012. We're hoping there will be 3,000 by 2021. But the system is now grown to be part of other parts of the transport. We think there are about 20,000 pieces of map in the city, and 6 million maps were printed for the Olympics and given away. It's actually grown to be across the whole city, and we now to start to think of it as being the glue that binds the city together. So, who is involved in making things like this happen? Well, it's a big collaboration of stakeholders and different design disciplines, but importantly, it was a collaboration between private business and the city authority, because it takes money. And you need to build those partnerships between the private sector and the city. So, to summarise, a coordinated approach to street furniture can have a really high visual impact on the city. If you think of those 20,000 pieces dispersed across the city, it becomes really impactful. So you have to think really carefully what that's going to look like. But by being coordinated in the same, it commands a higher level of, level of trust in the user. People trust it more. You must make sure that you build it to last and it does need to be maintained. You should only build what you can take care of. And if you get it right, you can start to build things that actually last and they start to form the identity of a place. So I've only been here three days in Almaty. I can't tell you what works for Almaty. You, you have to do the research, you have to get the evidence, and then you can work out what's right. But for the last two days, I've been working with a group of young professional designers and the British Council here in um, Almaty. And we've been walking around the city and thinking about some ideas around how it might be easier to move around and how that might make the city better for people. If you haven't seen it already, please have a look because there's some really interesting ideas. So lastly, before I came, I looked for a map of Almaty. This is what I found online. I don't know which way up it should be. But I now know Almaty is on a slope and you have the mountains. So it kind of makes sense, but it's a really good example about places are different. So think about what makes Almaty Almaty.